Am I the asshole for getting my sister an XXL jumper when she asked for AL? So I, 19 female, have a 14-year-old sister called Jade. Jade's birthday was a few days ago and apparently, I've majorly fucked up. Jade asked me for a jumper from a certain online store and asked for it in size L because she wants it a little baggy, she's usually a size M. The issue is that I've brought from this store multiple times and their sizes are all out of whack. For example, you order a size L but the fit is that of NS or an XXL is the fit of an L it's very annoying and I've made the mistake one too many times. So when Jade asked for an L, I ordered an XXL. I didn't think anything of it, in my mind, I was getting her what she wanted in the fit she wanted. I do the same with myself if I buy from there. Well, her birthday rolls around and she opens my gift. I preambled a little by saying that I had to get it in a bigger size because of the store's sizing and she said fine. At first she's super excited but then she sees the sizing. She gets really upset and doesn't talk to me for the rest of the evening. My mom is furious with me. I made it very clear that it's because of the store's weird and fucked up sizing issues, but they weren't having it. Am I the asshole? Edit. The jumper fit exactly how she wanted it to. Not the asshole your sis is being way too delicate for her own good and your mom is enabling it. Both are old enough to understand your point about the sizes running on the small side. Especially since she asked for something from that particular store. Next time, just get her what she asks for and watch her struggle to get into it. Not the asshole. You knew how the jumpers fit from that store. You were trying to do a nice thing. And you were right. It fit perfectly. Sister has to learn that those little letters, and the size numbers, are meaningless with all the variation between manufacturers. Not the asshole. It's just common sense to buy things in the right sizing. I don't know if it was one of them, but many Asian store have clothing that are really small and even on their website they recommend going two sizes up if you live outside of Asia. I always find it a little hurtful when I see my clothes with those huge size on them, but hell, wearing them don't make me fatter. It's just a tag. Nah. You had good intentions and ultimately this was an innocent mistake but she is a 14 year old and she took this as you telling her that she's bigger than she is, so she is hurt. Not the asshole. Women's sizing is terrible. You wear an XS one place and an XL at another. It's a shitty thing to have to deal with but it's not your fault. Nah, but you could have mentioned it before you ordered it. It's stupid but at that age, and sometimes even now, I'd have chosen a different gift because sizes mess with my head. From her point of view, it fits how she wants, she can cut the label off. Good luck. Not the asshole it may have been better to have spoken to her about this issue before you ordered it, so it wasn't such a shock to her when she received it. It sounds like she may be feeling insecure about herself, which is why your explanation fell on deaf ears. Are you aware of any insecurity issue? I still say not the asshole because it was a timing issue, unintentional, with reasonable explanation. If you were aware it might upset her, I'd lean more towards arsehole. No assholes here you did the best you could with the best intentions, but she is 14 and full of hormones and peer pressure and Instagram expectations. She is self-conscious about her body and having to wear any XXL clothing probably distorts her body image to equals equals fat and huge. She probably feels like her sister told her she is a whale, even if that's not what's happened. The brains and feelings of 14-year-old are twisted and self-sabotating. You did nothing wrong, but give her some space and don't take it personal. Am I the asshole I told my wife to stop overreacting over an innocent mistake? Today when I came home from work, my daughter, 7-yo, didn't greet me as usual. I checked on her and she was apparently grounded by her mom for two weeks. I asked my wife why she had done so and she told me that her teacher had called and said that our daughter used foul language in class. I asked her what the word was and how it was used. It was the word, S88. I asked my daughter where she had learnt the word and she said that she had heard mom telling her friend that she'll be there in a sec. She had then learnt that it means second. So she used it in plural form i.e., sex, while talking to her friend and the teacher called my wife after hearing her. I relayed the same to my wife but she said that it's still not acceptable for a kid to use such language and our daughter has to be disciplined. I told her to stop overreacting to such an innocent mistake. She told me I'm being very lax and that I'm not a good parent. She's refusing to talk to me or our daughter now. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. The teacher was mistaken when she labeled it foul language in the first place, but your wife is really overreacting. Not even sure what grounding a seven-year-old consists of honestly. But yeah, this does not warrant two weeks of punishment.
That word sounds like another word that you shouldn't say at school, seems like all that's really necessary. Edit. Oh holy s88. This comment got a lot more love than I expected it to. Ah. Uh, ignore me. All the good stuff is lower down in this comment thread. Anime without meanings comment in particular is really good. And there's a whole thread talking about actual real world examples of things kids say that are not what they mean. Not the asshole FFS that's ridiculous, overzealous, bullshittery. The seven year old child's explanation is very logical and that's what happens when children are learning. They can come out with some odd things. The teacher and your wife should be ashamed of themselves. Not the asshole, but that wife though. A child happened to say a word that coincidentally sounds like another word. So your wife punishes her to teach her what lesson exactly? That homonyms are bad? Not the asshole. One sex isn't a dirty word. Two treating it and other associated words as such actually leaves kids vulnerable. Three not being willing to talk to your kid about their side never leads to anything good. Four punishing your kid for nonsensical reasons is a great way to push your kid away. Not the asshole and wow s3x should not be called a bad word. That's not how you establish or keep open communication with your child so that she knows that she can come up y'all with questions and concerns when she hits puberty or later on starts dating. I'm honestly horrified that that word is treated the same as any four-letter swear. Wow. My dude. Just. Wow. And yes, two weeks of grounding for that is ridiculous emo. Not the asshole. But your wife is. Your child is seven. She is still learning. Sex, in this context is not a foul word. She was repeating something she overheard her mother saying. She didn't use a dirty word. What on earth is, S88? Say T8 is all I can see. All my years on the internet has not lead me to that one. Not the asshole. You have a right to give your views on parenting your child, too. I don't know what S88 is though, and how it's a, bad, word. Am I the asshole for reminding my dad that my sister is paying for my tuition? My sister is an influencer. She has a lot of followers and make money from it. My parents hate it and think it is not proper and constantly criticize her. My dad always brings up that he is not using the engineering degree he has paid for. It is annoying and I know it has hurt my sister a lot. She doesn't visit us at all now. My dad lost his very lucrative job a few years back so they told me that they wouldn't pay my tuition. My sister stepped in and said she would pay for everything and not to worry about it. My parents were again criticizing her and whining about the post she made. Dad whined about her degree and he was warning me not to be like her. I said she is the one paying for my education and I didn't like them trashing her and they were being so judgmental about it and they were the one who were treating her horribly. My dad blew up on me and called me disrespectful. My mom is being passive aggressive. I know that they are wrong but it our family having to live on less money is a pretty sensitive topic. I think I should have held my tongue as I am moving out soon. Not the asshole, siblings with exhausting parents need to stick together. Not the asshole their value system doesn't reflect reality and they are mad about it. It's understandable to grieve a little that their lives are challenging, but it's another thing to take out their frustrations on their kids. Not the asshole your sister is doing something that earns money, regardless of how it's done. I've been to uni and I'm not doing anything even remotely similar to the field I studied in, and you know what. I love my job. For your sister to offer to help you out is a blessing not something that should be talked down on. Money is money, however you earn it. Your dad has ego problems. And hash x 200 b. Not the asshole op. Not the asshole you are setting the boundary that you are not okay with them speaking about your sister like that in front of you. Quite frankly they should be proud of your sister for doing so well for herself. And it's great that she has a solid education to fall back on if she ever decides being an influencer isn't for her or doesn't work out for her in the future. Not the asshole. You're defending your sister. They don't care if they're being disrespectful to her after all she's done for you, and potentially them too. They opened the confrontation by doing that. You'd actually have been the asshole if you sat by and let your sister pay for your tuition while letting other people walk all over and disrespect her. You did the right thing in this situation. Your parents need to get over their ego and give your sister the dignity she deserves. Not the asshole. Having less money may be a sensitive topic for them, but their constant belittling of your sister is a sensitive topic as well. They didn't care about that before they said it, and they didn't care about it when they destroyed their relationship with her. They don't get to act like that and then expect you to keep quiet and tiptoe around their feelings when they have no regard for yours. And frankly, your father could stand to learn some humility.
not the asshole. Your sister is doing her best to be a good person in spite of your parents. She deserves credit for that. Am I the asshole for giving myself my own room on a vacation? My, 17 female, family wanted to go on vacation during winter break but neither of my parents wanted to look for a place and check prices and everything so my mom gave me a credit card, told me our budget, and said to do whatever I want and call them when it's done to tell them where we're going. It's my parents, me, our dog, and my sisters, 18 and 13, going on the vacation. I found this great cabin around 4.5 hours away from us in a park that has a pool, hot tub, mini golf, and nightly s'mores included. It was at the top end of the budget but it's a lot better than the other places I found, plus by now almost everything is already booked. I booked it and sent my parents the pictures when my mom asked why I got a three-bedroom place. I told her I wasn't told to get a place with a specific number of rooms and mostly booked it due to the price, rating, and other activities included. She asked who would get the third bedroom and I said I would because I spent three weeks looking for a place so I deserved to get my own room. My mom said she wanted me to cancel the reservation because either none of us share a room or all of us do and me getting my own room isn't fair. My dad finally read the texts. This was in a group chat with my parents and said I deserve to have my own room because I spent three weeks looking for a good place and said it would be stupid to cancel the booking just because there's three bedrooms. Then my mom told my sisters that I'm getting my own room with a queen bed and they have to share a room with twin beds and both my sisters are mad now. My older sister thinks she should get her own room because she's an adult and my little sister thinks she needs her own room because she sleeps with the dog and needs the big bed. Now it's me and my dad versus my mom and my sister so I wanted to know if I was the asshole. Edit, dog tax. Not the asshole but if you get bigger bed, you should share with the dog. Win win. So your mom couldn't be bothered to look for a location herself, but after you've done all the hard work she complains, and then runs to your sisters and stirs up trouble. What the hell? And hash x200b. You've earned that room. Let mom and sisters stew and sulk if they want. Enjoy that room and stick with dad and the dog. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Between the three sisters, you have the best claim to the solo room. Because I'm an adult now, makes no sense unless she's bringing her BF. And the dog can sleep anywhere. So by your mom's reckoning, it had to be two bedrooms and you all share, or four bedrooms and you all have your own room. At which point I would say, fine, cancel it and good luck finding anything in your price range. ETA. Now seeing the cute little dog. Little sis was making a bold move to get the room, the big bed, and the dog. Sorry your parents aren't very good at parenting. Not the asshole. Not the asshole is your mom always so manipulative? Not the asshole they could have booked it themselves if they wanted a specific room set up. Nah. I agree with you, but it's her money. It would be fair for you to say, okay, I've put in all the work so far. If you don't like what I've reserved, you are free to cancel it and look for another house. Here is the reservation info. Dot. I do the vacation planning in my family and you bet your ass I get first pick of rooms in exchange for doing hours worth of work. However, I'm an adult with the freedom to put up these boundaries and you aren't. Not the asshole, there is no reason why you should not get the extra room. The difference between 17 and 18 is not significant unless older sister is paying her own way. It would not really help the situation for you to share a room with your sisters. Maybe the dogs could sleep with you?